Welcome to the Gynecologic Sonologist series of videos dedicated to teaching ultrasound strategies to enhance the physician's diagnostic skills and augment surgical practice. This video is centered upon using the sliding sign to assess for adhesions to the uterus and adnexa in a patient with an antiverted uterus. There are no sponsorships or financial disclosures involved in the production of this video series. All patient video footage was collected after obtaining consent for recording and use for educational purposes. In this video, we will review the equipment used and display positive sliding signs of the uterus and adnexa with clinical tips for using this diagnostic tool. All ultrasound footage in this series was captured on a GE Volusan E10 machine. Where transabdominal probes were used, a C1 through 6 XD clear convex probe was used. Transvaginal images were obtained with a RIC 6 through 12 transvaginal probe. In the first segment, we will display the positive sliding sign on the antiverted uterus. Pushing on the undus of the uterus to elicit that sliding sign. We see that the uterus is moving down in the body. The bowel is staying where it's meant to stay. The uterus is sliding along it. We can also apply the technique where by we push with the probe, push on the cervix, and we see the sliding at the retro cervix. Let's take another look at reduced speed. In the upper half of the screen, the uterus is freely displaced as the technique of abdominal palpation moves it inferiorly. As this takes place, the bowel in the lower half remains stationary. The presence of the sliding indicates a positive sliding sign. Now, as pressure is applied with the transvaginal probe, the cervix is displaced and the surrounding tissue is seen easily sliding past it. In this segment, the adnexa will be assessed for mobility. Pushing on the ovary, we see lateral mobility. We see medial mobility. If I go into sagittal uh, orientation with the probe, we see the mobility superiorly and inferiorly. This is an entirely mobile ovary. Taking a second look at this footage, we'll look at evaluating all four planes of mobility. As transvaginal pressure is applied to the adnexa while starting in a transverse view, lateral and medial mobility can be assessed as the tissue freely glides past the ovary. In a sagittal view, the inferior and superior poles may be evaluated in a similar fashion. And I'm going to apply pressure again in transverse, and we're seeing the ovary slide really nicely along the iliac there. And we're seeing it slide along the rectum. We're going to go to sagittal, applying pressure. We're seeing, again, superior and inferior mobility. We can also amplify that by placing the hand on the abdominal wall and pushing the ovary. Let's recap and take another look at abdominal palpation of the adnexa. Pressure is again applied with the transvaginal probe to the ovary in a transverse view. Lateral mobility is highlighted with the contrast of the neighboring iliac vein. As we switch to a sagittal view of the ovary, we assess for inferior and superior mobility. Remaining in the sagittal view of the ovary, the sonologist applies the technique of abdominal palpation. This manually displaces the ovary while surrounding tissue remains stationary. Thank you for viewing this video series. Further installments to come.